Well, it's great to finally be in here and be able to show it off to everybody. Um, the good thing is our team and our coaches were able to utilize the space starting from, from the first game. And I think that was our first objective is being able to get them in here into the natural home for that first game. And now be allowing the construction crews to finish, you know, finishing off some of the other pieces and now being able to show it to our fans. I'm just excited and it's kind of cool that it came with homecoming, you know, as, as we're inviting people back to campus for our annual homecoming festivities, it's really neat that this uh, grand opening gets to be a part of that. And then I think the, the, can you just talk about this wall really quick, you know, Friday Night Lights, this is all probably going on our channels tonight, yes. uh, but this is very cool, it's a feature. Yeah, you know, this was a concept that came from a, a bunch of our people that have gone to different places and uh, a lot of the pro sports uh, stadiums are, are doing it. But really for us, this is a way to show our connection with the state of Montana. Uh, a lot of our programs, not just football, uh, recruit the state of Montana. And how cool is it that they're going to be able to walk into this in this building and see their football helmet on this wall, um, especially for football recruits. You know, when we bring them in on Saturdays and they get to come in and see this. Uh, but really it was about our connection with the state. Uh, the state provides us with so much. Uh, we have a lot of fans that are all over the state. It was just kind of our connecting point uh, to our fans and to the state. And then last question for me, this obviously is the home of Montana State football, but it will be used by every program here. Can you just speak on that? Yeah, as we've talked before, you know, this was phase one because it impacted every single student athlete that we had. One, it opens up space over in the field house uh, for them to be able to, to do things at better times. Plus the, uh, the football coaches offices that they have now vacated, we are transitioning and renovating that for an academic center. So an expanded and larger academic center for all of our student athletes. And then to have this space over here, we have uh, you know, two training rooms now, we have two weight rooms now, we have the doctor's offices over here. Having the dual space will allow our student athletes to be able to work out at better times um, and as we focus on, one, being able to be competitive, so working out at better times, being able to go to class, get their academics done, eating properly, and then getting proper sleep. And so we don't want anybody having to get up at five o'clock to lift or lift till nine o'clock at night, and these spaces will be able to help them do that. Why is it important for you to explain to everyone that this is not just for football, this is for all the student athletes? Because I think it's the first one we started with, and I think we wanted the impact to be felt across everybody. Uh, we want, and we also want to show them that this was the first project, but we know as a result of this, there's going to be a trickle down effect with space over in the field house. And we know a lot of our programs have priorities and we know we need to tackle those priorities next. Uh, but in order to get to those, we had to start with this first. There had to be one that went first, but because of this, it now opens up the realm of possibilities and the spaces that we need to be able to accommodate. And I, I know you can't speak on every student athlete, but just hearing what they're saying when they first step in, what are some of the reactions that you're getting from the student athletes and the coaches so far? Well, it's funny. Uh, I'm going to go back to former student athletes because we've seen a couple of them. And the former student athletes are, you know, maybe a little bit jealous, but my, my message to them is you helped us get here. Like you being here and you having the success, success you did helped us get to this point. And then for the student athletes, we can tell them like, look, I mean, the horizon is the limit. I mean, there is nothing that is going to stop us. And even though like we've done this now, we're going to do more and we're gonna to plan to do more. But I think it should go to, we are gonna support their development. So when they step on campus, one, we can take care of them. Uh, we, can, we can develop them in a way to, so they can meet their goals. At the end of the day, we're, we're a Division I program. We wanna win championships and we, we wanna win conference championships and compete for national championships. And these facilities now will be able to do that for all of our sports, not just football. I know it feels like I've asked you this every few months now, but do you have phase two a little bit more planned out, I guess, at this point yet, or, or no? Yeah, I mean, we have a couple different things that are kind of rising to the top, and uh, we've had some pre preliminary conversations, and we hope, you know, that the momentum that this facility and the grand opening generates, that we'll be able to start on this very, very quickly. You mentioned uh, construction was part of the reason it didn't open on the the first day, what specifically, I guess, was, was the part, or other, other reasons, I guess? Yeah, you know, they were dealing with the same issues that everybody's dealing with in the country. So it was supply chain issues, it was delivery issues, it was all those things that we experience now. Um, even when you order from Amazon now, it's not overnight or it's not two days, it's like a week. And so everybody was dealing with issues, um, even manufacturing. So if, you, if we had things with computer chips, I mean, they were delayed. Now we're, we talked about the foam in the furniture. So there's just certain, certain things that were delaying it out of the control of everybody. I do have to say that our construction crew um, and everybody associated with the subcontractors and everybody did an amazing job uh, to get us to this point in, in a global pandemic, uh, not knowing what we are going to deal with. And so I gotta give a shout out to everybody that worked on this project because to be at this point right now is pretty amazing. 
How relieved are you? Is that, is that the, be, the biggest emotion right now? Or is that <laughs> excitement? What's, what's, what is the You know, I think problem? so. And it's going to be fun to live in the space and see what else we want to do. Uh, we have some of the branding that's, that's completed, uh, but we know we want to add more things to it. But we wanted just to be in the space and see where we needed to add more things. Um, but yeah, I think relieved just to have it open, to have football completely over here, and then for all the other student athletes to really feel the impact of that over in the field house. So you said that hydrotherapy is, is one that you've, you've spotlighted. Is that your favorite or is there another spot that's your favorite part of the Oh, building? man. I mean, it, the weight room is great because we get to, care, we get to uh, take care of more student athletes at one time. Hydrotherapy is great because, I mean, if you're a parent and you're coming on a recruiting visit or you're dropping your student athlete off um, to come to school here, you can see these facilities now and in our connection with Bozeman Health and the doctors that if something happens, we don't want anything to happen, but if something does, we can get them back to play really, really quickly. Um, and these spaces allow us to do that. And then if you go upstairs, obviously letting the coaches breathe a little bit and having more space for them, being able to really pinpoint position meeting groups as a football program really needs to because of the size of their groups. And then the team room upstairs, because we'll be able to use it as, as a department goes, uh, but I know how much space that they need as a team. And so I think those are kind of the highlights for me. Yeah, you know, this building will primarily be shut down for football operations or game operations on game day. Uh, so obviously our football team, our medical staff, everybody will be in here. Uh, we do have recruits that come in here now. So really it will serve as a football function on game day. But outside of that, it's, it's open. So people will be able to walk in. They'll be able to go up to the football offices and see them. But they'll be able to, you know, to walk in and enjoy it on non-football game days. Yeah. Uh Dennis Erickson's going to be at the grand opening, is that I've, right? I've heard that, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I've heard he's going to be here. Okay. Yeah. Anybody else? Any other names you can, you can mention? Uh, you know, I don't know. I'm sure there's going to be a ton. Um, mm -hmm. But, you know, hopefully the ones that can make it here early. You know, we wanted, when we were, getting it, we were setting this up, we wanted to do it on um, Gold Rush because we had more time in the morning to do it on a game day because it was a night game. And we felt like we could probably get more people here to be able to see it. Doing it on a Friday, we wanted to match it with homecoming because we felt like then probably second best option because more people are coming into town on Friday night for, to do all the homecoming festivities. Um, so I think we're gonna see a lot of our donors that contributed to this project. I think we're gonna see some former student athletes that just kinda wanna come in and see it. And I think we'll get just some regular community members that, that wanna see it as well. I think everybody's excited um, about doing something and continuing to grow the campus. Um, and really, you know, what's gone on, on on campus in the university under President Cruzado, this is just another piece uh, that she's been able to lead. A little more of a football-related yeah. question, but four and one on the year, two and zero in conference play. How have you seen uh, this facility already impact and add excitement to this team? I think it just makes things easier uh, on their operations. And like we talked about, it was really designed and set up for flow uh, of our student athletes to really care for them and to give them spaces where they can just go and relax. Um, you know, we were in tight quarters when we were over in the field house and we were fighting for time. Uh, with other programs, we were using probably three different buildings for football just to do their operations. And so there was, their operations were really segmented. And now them being all together, it just feels like they're a more cohesive unit uh, from, from coach, uh, coaching staff perspective, but also from coaches to players as well. And then just to see them in here at night after all that stuff is done, hanging out together, you know, using the screens for whatever, studying in here, uh, it's been really cool to see. And, and if we can take the stresses off of our student athletes' lives, they'll play better because they're thinking about less. And so if we can accommodate them and, and support them in those ways and provide spaces like this, I think it's gonna help everybody.